Hey guys, what is up? It is No Help, and welcome back to another video today. So you know what time of year it is, school, college, starting back up. So I thought it would be the perfect time to make my top 10 favorite AFK money making methods for 2024. These methods are also very good to do on an alt account if you're playing your main at the same time. So let's just hop right into this. So method number one is Gargoyles requiring a 75 Slayer. So this is the gear setup that I take, basically full Guthans, and you will never need food here. So basically you want the NPC Aggression Timer plugin on, and it will be this yellow square, and um, basically after the 10 minutes is up, you just have to walk out of the yellow square again, and the monsters will be aggressive again. So then you can simply AFK for 10 minutes at a time, and uh, once the 10 minutes is up, you walk out of the yellow square, and the gargoyles will be aggro on you again. This method is crazy, you will never need food here, one of the most AFK things you can do, and you can make a decent amount of money here 500k plus gp per hour also make sure you have the gargoyle smasher ability from the slayer award shop and never forget your raw camera next is going to be rune dragon this has some pretty hefty requirements requiring dragon slayer 2 and some pretty decent gear now this is the gear that I personally take, I bring the full Justicar armor, the insulated boots are super important here, um, Dragon Hunter Lance, Dragon uh, Fire Shield, and I actually bring the Ring of Life because I tend to AFK this a little too much. Once you get over to the Rune Dragons, you just want to sip up your potions, and then I have my Quick Prayers set to Pray Magic, and then Piety. You basically just want to enter the room, it's always really busy, um, and basically just attack the Rune Dragons. Now this is pretty AFK, now sometimes you're going to have to pay a bit of attention, but that's where the Ring of Life does come in handy, because like I said, I tend to AFK this too much. The Dragon Hunter Lance definitely smacks here, you can definitely get some good kills. I'll put up on screen right now, I recently killed a thousand of them on my afk time and made 36 million gp this is a very good method at least about a million gp per hour sometimes a million and a half depending on how many kills or how lucky you get um you will have to uh come back and eat from time to time and bank but uh still a very afk method for how much money you make First kill coming in here, let's see what we got. Runite, Dragon Bones, and a Torstal. Like, insane amount of money, man. Now, coming up next is my favorite method of AFKing, and it is Fishing Karam Wands. Now, you will need 65 fishing and completion of the TI-1i Trio quest. Now, this is the gear that I take, the full angler's outfit with the Dragon Harpoon and the Rada's Blessing and a Max Cape. Also, having a fish barrel is extremely helpful here because it lets you AFK for double the time and you make a lot more money this way. So basically go to a fairy ring and use the um, code DKP and it will teleport you right over to the fishing location right here. Now you can sit back with the fish barrel and AFK for at least a minute and a half. It is pretty insane. You just sit here and your fish barrel will fill up and then your inventory will fill up. Now, this method is very AFK and it's super easy to bank as well especially if you have like crafting cape or something like that this is why it is one of my favorite methods and you make a decent amount of money here during the past couple of months i've managed to fish 70,000 carb wands netting me 28 million gp and in the past i've uh, done a lot more <laughs> next we'll be crafting blood runes requiring 77 rune crafting this is the gear that I personally take, the of the eye outfit with my dragon pickaxe. Um, this will basically make 60% extra runes with the outfit. So once you're in the mining area right here, you just want to sit back, relax, and AFK mining the uh, dense rune stone. Now this is where it's super AFK and takes a very long time to do. Um, so yeah, sit back, relax, I'll speed this part up. Once you fill your inventory with the dense essence blocks, you just want to hop over the rocks right here and head over to the dark 
altar. Now this is where you will basically turn them into the uh, version where you can craft them into blood runes. Now you can actually do this twice per inventory which makes this pretty awesome. So you run over here, turn them into the dark essence and then basically use a chisel on them and convert them into the basically dust whatever it is. So you turn it down here and then you can go back and mine a whole nother inventory before you actually craft them into blood runes. So this is where it is super AFK. All you have to do is chip them into the fragments and get yourself another inventory. Also, if you can bring blood essence here, basically when you craft blood runes, there is a 50% chance to craft an extra blood rune per essence, so definitely will make more money. Once you got your next inventory full, just come right back here and now you've got a long walk. Once you finally make it up to the blood altar, you just go ahead and craft the runes and then chisel your next inventory as well and simply craft the runes. Now, I would say this is 70% AFK because most of the time is spent mining it out. So in one inventory, we got 423 blood runes, 128k for about six minutes. Okay, next we're going to be killing brutal black dragons requiring 77 slayer. So this is the gear that I'm personally going to be taking. Definitely take better if you have it. I'm using the Dragon Hunter crossbow with kind of a mix of other ranged gear. In case you want to start off by drinking a extended super anti-fire ranging potion and then put on prey magic and rigor and then enter the hole right here. You first have to actually unlock this hole, but uh, then you just basically come to the side here and simply AFK these dragons. Now, uh, basically, you won't need to eat much food or anything like that as long as you've got your prayer active and your combat potion active. And yeah, sit back, relax, and the Dragon Hunter crossbow absolutely shreds through these things. So as, if you have better range gear, maybe that will increase your kills per hour. But uh, this is something that I tend to do a lot when I want to AFK. These creatures are incredible incredible money and you know you barely have to pay attention at all if you want even turn rigor off or bring a bone crusher or something like that if you want to just stay here for a very long time but as you can see extremely afk super worth doing Okay, coming in with the first kill here, as you can see, dragon bones black dragon hide this is where you're going to be making a lot of your cash and the first trip is over with and that only took about five minutes and as you can see 114k you also get some good range xp here solid method next on the list is mining amethyst this will require level 92 mining so kind of a hefty requirement so teleport over to the mining guild and then head south to the amethyst spot Okay, so once you're in here, basically head up to any of the amethyst crystals on the wall and sit back, relax, and AFK because this is an incredible way to AFK and make a decent amount of money on this side. I will speed this up because this takes a, a long time. <laughs> So that took about 15 minutes to get a full inventory. We maybe clicked, I would say, three or four times and 100k. So you can spec 400k GP an hour and about 30k mining. For woodcutting, we've got redwood trees. Now, this is personally how I got from 90 to 99 woodcutting. This method does require 90 woodcutting, and this is the gear that I take, just the lumberjack outfit with the dragon axe. All you have to do is climb up the redwood tree in the woodcutting guild and basically same as amethyst you just sit here and relax at the redwood tree another extremely afk way to get to 99 woodcutting and make a decent amount of money on the side basically after your inventory is done you climb down the ladder and bank in that building here and rinse and repeat you won't make a ton of money here but it's a great way to afk and train your woodcutting at the same time Next we have smithing. Now basically you can make cannonballs. You can get a double uh, ammo mold from the Giants Foundry minigame. Doesn't take too long to get it all and it will double the amount of cannonballs you can make. Now basically you get a full inventory of steel bars and this will come at a price of 14k. You come up to a anvil. I like to use the one in Edgeville because it's super close to a bank. Sit back AFK and make your cannonballs. 
So we turned 14.5k into 24k in just a minute. Now another one is fletching. I prefer to do maple logs because you make a, a good amount of money. So if you check uh, the full inventory of maple logs is 405 GP. And you can easily collect these from the Kingdom of Miscellanea if you are an Iron Man account. So you just sit back at a bank, can AFK for about 45 seconds and uh, rinse and repeat. So we turn the 405 GP into 2.6K and you can just continue to do this over and over again. Personally, how I got my 99 and we did quite a bit of them. Now, another go-to for me is cooking. I have 78 million cooking experience because I like to do this activity so much. I usually cook carb wands. The inventory starts at 11.2K and uh, you also get a ton of cooking experience from this method. This is like a very viable method to get yourself to 99. I personally like to cook at the Myths Guild right here. This does require Dragon Slayer too, but there are other methods like the Rogue's Den that you can do your cooking at. And just after about 45 seconds, we made a couple K profit and we also gained 5K cooking XP. So this is very good to do. Well, thank you guys so much for watching the video today. These are my uh, top 10 favorite things to do AFK on the side to make a little bit of extra money. Perfect timing right now. Everyone's heading back to school and college. So, you know, while you're working on your assignments, these may be things to do on the side. Or if you're like me and work a regular job, uh, do these on your alt account. You know, it really does add up over time. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. I will catch you in the next one. See ya later.